Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, welcome to my latest video, which is going to be on negative numbers, adding and subtracting. <clears throat> Sorry it's been a while since my last video, but um, if you've been over to the merch site, you'll know I've been investing a lot of my time over there. This watch seems to have stopped. I'll, I'll sort that out, but pop over to the merch site. You can see lots of good stuff. Adding and subtracting negative numbers. Well, first of all, what are negative numbers? Well, we're all pretty happy with the positive numbers. They are numbers that start from zero. Um, they go to the right on the number line and they get bigger. So this direction on the number line, things get bigger. Negative numbers are simply the numbers to the left of zero on the number line. So basically numbers less than zero. And as we go to the left, they get smaller. Now the method I'm going to show you today for adding and subtracting negative numbers was first given to me by JRO over at the JOG. So big shout out to JRO. What I need you to do is I need you to think of the number line, negatives, positives, but I want you to think of it as a thermometer. So I want you to think of something that we're more comfortable with, and that is temperature. So we've simply turned the number line on its side, and it helps us to think of negative numbers in context. So um, we're all very happy that we know what it means when it's four degrees outside. Okay, and we're all very happy with what it means when it's negative three degrees outside. It just means the temperature is less than zero. In the same way, the negative numbers are just numbers which are less than zero. Now, to use this method that I like to use for adding and subtracting negative numbers, I want you to imagine that you've got a, a nice refreshing drink, sort of drink you might buy over on my uh, merch site. So if you've been over there and you've bought some of my... Um, Painted math juice, which um, will make you better at maths. That's 100% uh, juice of math, and um, it's not made from concentrate. So, um, some legal stuff that I just need to let you know. Um, not very important, but uh, it will make you better at maths. 100% um, will not make you better at maths, moms. But that's just some legal stuff. So, let's say you had this drink. You had some of my math juice, and uh, you weren't happy with its temperature. Okay, so whatever temperature that's at, um, you're not happy and you want it a bit colder. Well, what you could do to make your drink colder would be to add some ice cubes. Yeah, so I've got some ice cubes here. I could add them to this drink and um, it would make them colder. Now, what I'd like you to think of, I would like you to think of each of these ice cubes as being a negative number. In fact, negative one. So here we would have negative two. Uh, another ice cube would be negative three. Another ice cube negative four, and if I had two more ice cubes, that would be negative six. So, how does my system work? Well, let's imagine that my drink is at three degrees. So, it's quite chilled. My drink is at three degrees, okay? But um, I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna add two ice cubes to my drink. So, there's my drink, there's two ice cubes. Uh, it was at three degrees. I'm going to pop in two ice cubes and what would happen? Well, you kind of all know what would happen. My drink was at three degrees. I've added two ice cubes. So the temperature goes down to um, one degrees. Okay, because every time we add an ice cube, so the temperature of our drink goes down. So what I've modeled there is three degrees. I've added something, but I added negative two because I added two ice cubes. And as we just discussed, the answer is one. Okay, so my drink was three degrees. I added two ice cubes. As expected, the ice cubes make the drink get colder and it goes from three degrees down to one degree. Another way of thinking of that would be, I'm starting at three, I'm going to add something. Now normally when I add something, I get a bigger answer, but you can see here that I'm adding a negative number. So I'm expecting something to change. So the answer doesn't get bigger. In fact, it gets smaller. So my drink, as you know, is now at one degrees. Okay. 
Now what would happen if I added some more ice cubes? I don't know, so let's add um, let's add another two ice cubes, yeah? Let's see what happens. So let's add another two ice cubes. Um, it's at one degrees, I'm adding some ice cubes, so it's gonna get colder. So I'm, I'm modeling one degrees plus another two ice cubes. I'm adding ice cubes, so I'm expecting the drink to get colder, and it does. The temperature goes all the way down to negative one. I started with the drink that was at one degrees. I added something, so I expected the answer to get bigger, but it didn't because I was adding a negative. So the answer therefore got smaller. Let's see what happens if I were to remove some of these ice cubes. So my drink, as you know, is at negative one degrees. This time, I'm gonna take a couple of ice cubes out. So I'm gonna take out, um, let's see, I'm gonna take out three ice cubes. So I'm gonna take out three ice cubes. Negative one, if I take out three ice cubes, one ice cube, two ice cube, three ice cubes, I end up at two degrees. So what we've shown there is that negative one subtract negative three equals two. I'm starting at negative one, I'm subtracting something, I'm expecting my answer to get smaller, but the thing that I'm subtracting is a negative, so my answer actually gets bigger by three. Negative one, bigger by three, gives me one, two, three, two. So negative one, take away negative three, equals two. And we can just carry on with that. For instance, I know now that my drink is at two degrees. Okay, let's take out one more ice cube. So that's gonna be two, take away negative one. Where will that get us to? Well, I was at two degrees, I took out an ice cube, so I'm expecting the temperature of the drink to go up. So um, it goes from two up to three. So we've shown that from two degrees, removing another ice cube gives me a temperature of three. Or what we've shown is that two subtract negative one equals three. Two ways of thinking about it then. Either the fact that when we add, things normally get bigger, but if we are adding a negative, something changes and the answer gets smaller. Normally, when I take away, the answer gets smaller, but if I'm taking away a negative, something changes and the answer gets bigger. Or think of every negative one as an ice cube. Think of the starting point as a temperature and just think about what would happen if you add or subtract ice cubes. So, we put the math juice to one side. Um, I'd like you to um, pause the video and have a go at these questions. So pause the video and have a go. No, no, I don't need to say anything because it's on pause while they have a go at those questions. Well, try and beat my Rubik's Cube record. Okay. Welcome back guys. Hopefully you've had time to think about this. So we're at three and we need to add negative two. So if my drink was at three degrees and I added two ice cubes, the temperature would go down by two. So one, two takes me to one. So three plus negative two equals one. So we're at negative four. So my drink is negative four and I'm going to take out five ice cubes. So I'm taking away negative five. So the temperature of the drink is going to increase by five. So I'm at negative four. So we go one, two, three, four, five. Gets me to one. And the final one, one, take away negative three. So my drink is at one degree. I'm taking away or taking out three ice cubes. So the temperature increases by three. One, two, three. The answer is four. So there you go, guys. That's my method for um, using ice cubes and the math juice to try and remember how to add and subtract negative numbers. Okay. Think of it as temperature. Think of the negative numbers as being 
an ice cube. So when you add a negative number, the temperature gets lower. When you subtract a negative number, you're taking away an ice cube. So the temperature gets higher. OK, um, you think about that. I'm going to have some of my math juice. Uh, I really do like the math juice. It's uh, good stuff. Oh, yes, this is. Um, oh, we don't, this is not math juice.